Hey guys, welcome to VTV. This is Vanessa speaking. And um, this is our last and final video of the first series, which was How to Love Yourself. Uh, the first video that we made about this was about Transcendental Meditation, a form of meditation that I currently practice and um, has transformed my life. I shared with that in video one. And I also shared with you about how to establish a uh, connection with yourself, with your thoughts, with your body, with your emotions, and how to um, do this without judgment by simply observing yourself and listening to yourself and um, having compassion to your, with yourself. The second video was over asking questions. So once you've established that relationship with yourself, with your mind, with your body, and with your emotions, then you can start interacting with that and you can start asking questions like, why are we feeling this way? Like, how can we make ourselves feel safe? How can um, we give ourselves what we need and not have to, um, you know, search for it outside of ourselves? And also how to ask for what we want and what we need from others. So if we need somebody to um, have patience with us because we're going through a certain process, how to say and ask for that, hey, you know, being vulnerable, hey, like, I'm not feeling very well, like, I haven't been feeling very attractive lately, and when you said I looked beautiful, I had this hesitate, I heard this hesitation, and it just kind of made me feel a little more insecure, and I know that's not your intentions, but this is what I was feeling, you know, um, can you help support me in this, and they'll say, like, yeah, no, I think you're absolutely gorgeous, so, you know, don't worry about it, and even though what they say you know, doesn't really have so much of an impact on ourselves, what we're really needing is just to have that compassion to ourselves and say like, hey, like, we're fine, you know, we're okay. Like, she just said that she really meant that we were beautiful and we are. That's it, you know, everything is for ourselves. Um, so this video is going to be about how to create a supportive environment for yourself and how to support your support what you're needing and what you're truly wanting which is to be a happy, joyful, beautiful, loving person to yourself and to others, right, in this world. So um, with that said, the way to create a very thrivable environment is to stop looking for other people to make you feel good to make you feel beautiful, to make you feel safe, to make you feel loved, to make you feel special. Because the truth is, you already are all those things. You already are. And what you're really looking for is for that love from yourself, all right? So if we are constantly searching outside of ourselves for that, for that reassurance, then we're constantly going to mat, be met with failure and sadness because the truth is no one can love you the way that you can love you. No one in this world. And no one in this world can believe in you as much as you can believe in you because only with your belief in you can you make things happen. Okay? Only with your own love for you can you ever be loved back. All right, this goes back to our first video. Love someone who loves you as much as you love you. You have to love yourself or you will never really feel loved from anybody else, right? And I know that sounds like hard to hear, but it's very, very true. And um, I've been right there with you, you know? I was looking for this love outside of myself. I was really like begging and asking for it. Please love me, love me, love me. Like you know, and giving and giving all my heart and giving all my soul, but I needed to grab that back, hug myself and love myself and say, I am more than enough. I am perfect just the way I am. And yeah, I'm afraid. And yeah, I have insecurities. And yeah, I have like all this pain inside of me, but I'm going to love myself anyways. Okay, so the first key is just to be the support that you need. Support yourself, right? So if we are putting ourselves in situations where our love and our happiness depends on who we're hanging out with, 
then we're putting ourselves in a very powerless position. You know, for a long time, I was looking for that acceptance and for that love outside of myself. And, you know, I would go out and I would party and I would drink and I would get dressed up and think that that was what was going to make me happy. And it did for a very little bit of time, but then it just came falling down, you know? And um, I realized that that was not a sustainable way for me to, to live and for me to get my needs met, which was to be an environment that is nourishing me and allowing me to grow. So to attract these people who are gonna support you, you have to first support yourself. You have to first give yourself the love and compassion that you're needing from other people or that you're wanting from other people. And that means listening to yourself. As I mentioned in the first video, you've got to listen to yourself when you need to just be by yourself and have a bubble bath or you need to be by yourself and read a book or work on a car or do whatever it is that makes you feel good about your own identity, then you need to do that. You need to do it. You need to, if you need to go out, on the other hand, because if you're home alone by yourself, you start to feel bummed out or whatever, then, then do that. But go with people who are going to nurture you, you know? Go with people who are gonna do something that's gonna make you feel better, not worse. So if you need to, like, go for a walk with a friend, you know, do something that feels good, natural, and healthy for you in, in a bigger sense. Um, with that said, like, I think it's very important that at, also at this time that we um, are really honest with ourselves and really honest with other people. So if somebody that is constantly coming into your life and you know that every time you hang out with them, you have a whole bunch of fun in the moment, but then the next day you don't feel so well, or the next day you um, flake out on your responsibilities that you have to do, then that person's not going to be a sustainable person in your life. And those, those moments of happiness are not a sustainable love and a not a sustainable way of growing so um you know admitting to ourselves whenever we're we're in that situation and saying like okay what can i do about this now you know we might have to tell that person we can't hang out with them for a while you know and if they get like upset about it and hurt about it um we, we just, you know, allow that to happen and say, like, okay, like, I'm sorry, you know, but I'm trying to put myself in a place where I am I feel good. And although I have a lot of fun with you at the time, I usually don't feel good afterwards. And um, it's not your fault. I'm not telling you it's your fault, but I've just realized this within myself. And because I realized this within myself, I have to do something about it that will um, keep me going in the direction that I want to go in. So I love you. I really love our time together. And I, but I really have to separate myself from from this for right now. And you know, uh, unless you want to um, move forward with me, then maybe instead of going out to happy hour, maybe we can start going to the YMCA and go swimming, whatever, you know. Um, so I think that in this state, the getting into a supportive environment, creating thrivable systems, communication is huge. You know, um, it's really big. And as I mentioned, we had to first communicate with ourselves. We had to first listen to ourselves, listen to our thoughts, listen to our body, listen to our emotions. We had to ask questions with ourselves, ask questions to those thoughts, to our body, to those emotions, have compassion. And now we're bringing those same concepts out into our environment. So we're bringing those same ideas of, of observing, observing how every time we hang out with Susie, how we feel in the moment and how we feel afterwards. Then asking questions, wait, so I don't know if I like that. Do I like that? Do I like that I have a lot of fun in the beginning, but then the next day I don't have as much fun? No, okay, then, then you have support yourself. 
and support your decision that maybe this hanging out with Susie isn't the greatest idea. And supporting that and taking action towards that. Hey Susie, I realize that sometimes when we hang out, dot 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 dot, I mentioned it just a moment ago. So really just following your heart, following your mind, and, um, and being brave and vulnerable and courageous enough to support yourself in your journey. To not be afraid that by not hanging out with Susie anymore, you're not going to have any friends. You will have friends. You will. But be your own best friend first. And then great people who will support you in your choices, who will support you in the life that you really want, which is to live a happy, loving, beautiful, sustainable life, like feel good, it will happen, okay? I love you so much. Um, my, my next video series might be on different ways of handling stress, or it might be on what's really important in a relationship. So you decide, let me know, leave a comment below on which one you would like to to hear about and we can start that series, all right? I love you all so much and I'll see you soon, bye.